Now, as you can see, from over my head there now using the pole, the pole extension there now on the HLA, you know, I'm refusing to take the ladder out of the van, refusing. The only thing now I'm finding tricky with this, and I'm going to pop this into the review, is this little handle here, or this little button here. This one. Sometimes I pull that too hard and I'm afraid I'm going to break the spring inside, it's very flimsy. This is very good, the adjuster. And also as well, when, when the machine is running, you have to hold this button in and, and get the trigger off here, right? I'm not going to start it now. But if you want to keep that button held, this one here, and that locks this. See it? So this button, when you push this and this, so you can walk around with this held and it's locked. So here's another tip for you now. Just getting used to it now. Lacks a small bit of power now compared to what I'm used to, but it's handy, like, handy machine now. It's a good, good addition. Hi everyone, this is Damien from Mr. Tidy Garden and this is my full, honest review of the Still HLA 86, which I purchased two weeks ago now and I have worked this machine for the previous two weeks. Now, the machine is 260 centimetres long and 330 centimetres when fully extended with the telescopic pole. The machine weighs 4.8 kgs without the battery, depending on which battery that you want to use. The machine is a well-balanced machine in terms of when you have the battery in, the bottom casing, and it's there's a lovely little button and click that you know the button uh, the battery is secure. It's well balanced with the weight of the top hedge cutter, so it's a very balanced machine. And look, I worked this machine now for the last ten days. Would you say? On every possible type of hedging, shrub, uh, from laurel, beech, grisolinia, to all the kind of shrubs, like deadheaded hydrangeas, fuchsias, and I worked it on a couple of lelandies. I've worked it on everything, really. And I found the machine, it's it's quite capable of working. Um, the blades are very sharp, but what I did notice, it does lack that bit of power from a petrol machine and I'll explain in a minute now I'm going to give a list of pros and I'm going to give a list of cons now the battery runtime on the S300 battery which is the new battery that's out at the moment is very good I got two good days of cutting out of it now what I mean by that now it's trigger time trigger time in terms of how long did I have the trigger held for and I found that battery now very good and I've not used the AP200 which which I also bought um, I've not used that yet so I'd say that's a little bit less time on that but the, the S300 was a good buy and I wanted to buy the battery with the longest lifespan so because I don't want to be stopping what I did uh, also the reason I bought the machine the reason I bought the machine was for this telescopic pole I was sick of overreaching on hedges my back was in bits and I nearly had a couple of falls last summer because look my dad used to give me a hand as you guys know, with the gardening, and he'd always hold the ladder for me, and my dad's not around now, so I have to think of other ways to get into these awkward areas without falling off the ladder. Now, the pros of this machine. The pros of the machine are, there's a rubber handle, there's a, that, that's on the shaft of the machine, which is very comfortable. There's a tip protector at the top of the machine, which is very handy if you're coming in close to walls, that you don't break your blades. The length of the adjuster is just to turn and unlock and lock again, which is very handy, especially now when you're under pressure and you're tired. You can just unlock it quick, twist it, and lift up the pole and twist it again to lock it, and off you go to adjust it to the height that you want, which is very, very handy, and I mean that now. That's why I bought the machine. Storage is very easy in the van. There's no drive shaft, meaning no vibration, no smoke, no stopping to refuel, which is very handy as well. And the low level of noise, which I found was brilliant for people working at home. You're not being too, too invasive and you can kind of blend in with nature. You blend in with the hedge and people know you're there, but you're not making that big loud racket 
when you're using a petrol machine. So first thing in the morning or on a Saturday or a Sunday, it's an ideal machine to use. Now the cons. The locking mechanism on the head I found on the head adjuster I found to be very flimsy. Um, it's a bit weak. You could feel there's a spring inside there and I think I dragged that out a few times and it kind of locked and I had to kind of give it a bit of a tip to kind of free it up again. That could be an issue down the road and I've seen it on other machines that it does give an issue. Um, the safety switch can be annoying but I've showed at the start of the video that you can, there's a trick to it, you just got to keep your thumb on the upper part of the handle and it holds the safety switch in. But look, the safety switch is there so that you won't cut your leg off or your hand off. The machine won't run until you flick the safety switch. So it's there for a reason. So I just found myself thinking about it a lot. You know, it didn't come naturally, but it will eventually over time. It lacks speed and power on heavy duty hedging. And I found that now I was a bit longer on hedges that I would be. Especially you now if you're a gardener like me and you like to save time, you like to push on. So I just have to go back to my petrol power machines on those hedges in particular. And I found the weight of the pole when it's fully extended to be kind of heavy. Now I'm I can bench a hundred and between a hundred and a hundred and twenty kilos on a weight bench. You know, I'd be predominantly a strong enough guy. Um and I found that to be a bit heavy. So, you know, it takes a bit getting used to. So if you've shoulder problems, the pole mightn't be the the mightn't be the the right answer for you, you know, you could end up out in the physio if you lose it, use it a lot. So all in all, I found the machine to be very capable. Um it's a good it's a good um it's a good bonus to my to my uh, business, you know, and I'm quite happy with it. So look, it was a good buy and I just gave a very honest review there. So guys, thank you very much now for watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and always remember now guys.